hello and welcome to another episode of the road to super bike so finally we flipped a lot of spares some bad experiences some good experiences but that is beyond this video so um, this is like i mentioned the next episode for the road to super bike and we have finally bought a bike now to restore so we are done with spares so we have gone to the next stage of the um, road to superbike and i will introduce you guys to the bike that we bought and once we build this we will sell the bike and using that money we will buy the next thing All right so let me introduce you to the bike okay so this is what we bought for the road to superbike series yes i know you might be thinking what a piece of scrap that you bought um but you know i i definitely see potential and people who know me who have been following the channel know that i have a special place for suzuki bikes in my heart i usually don't keep them um because the biggest challenge is getting spares so you know i do not have the resources to go to bangalore and buy spares i usually rely upon friends uh the best part about this bike is it is completely original you will see a lot of things missing so let's come to that first you can see this bike you know the sold and service by sticker that is there um the tire inflation sticker actually comes here but most of the people stick it on the uh, chain cover even i have done that so that is good the seat is original this is how the shaolin seat used to come but of course yes we will change it we will put a new cover on it uh, we might not go with the same design i don't know i'll have to check um the next thing is the paint on the tank is original but the stickers are little sad especially on this side so i don't know whether we would be able to save them especially because of these things but if in case anybody knows any place where i can buy these stickers do let me know um i'm really interested to buy them um i'll also see if i can remove these stickers because it doesn't look that hard to get it replicated but let's see that is in plan um this sticker most likely i will try to retain it but i have you know these also with me i have a few lying around from the previous shaolin build um so um you will see a lot of panels missing those panels are not actually missing since the bike was getting shipped from kochin i asked the seller to remove all these and keep it with him so the bike never came with a speedometer the speedometer was missing also the most important part of a shaolin the cdi the white cdi is missing so right now what we have there is the black swiss cdi so we will look for that as well um the headlight dome is not correct this is not the dome that comes with um uh, shaolin uh, the brake levers are both broken so obviously anyways we will change these so that doesn't matter grips will also be changed not this type but some something new Th these only comes in the max 100 type grips and those don't fit well so these switches i will change both because these look sad and there is no point retaining them um so yeah those are going to be changed the silencer i'm not sure if this is the original silencer um definitely doesn't look like original but then i haven't seen a suzuki silencer with a separate bend pipe um so we'll have to see what that is so a lot of things will go for uh, plating and zinc dipping so the gear lever i'll give it for plating i will give these for bolts for plating i'll give this for plating this bolt these two top end bolts uh will go for plating we will get brand new shock nuts we will change the shocks change all the lights all around um change the lower uh mud flap um see these are things which i have never seen in a suzuki bike these things usually are missing so good that we have with all there 
yes baby come so the bike starts actually which is a surprise there is a lot of engine noise and there is that crank noise as well which you heard um, so the seller says that this is a sealed engine oh god so doesn't like the smoke from a two stroke so most of the people might not know but this is a suzuki um, shaolin gp edition so this came with a meter which had a gear indicator in that plus if you see below uh, there is a bash plate this is something that i haven't seen in any of the shogun shaolin so that's a great thing um, the swing arm actually needs to be painted because powder coating will ruin those bushes i will also get these two hubs painted slash powder coated so yeah this is a good project in its own we need to clean the bike first um, all the missing panels are there uh, i asked the seller not to ship it um, along with this um, the main reason was i was not very sure that it will arrive intact so i asked him not to ship these um, then of course tires have to change the rims have to go new spokes all over so yeah there is great plans about this bike this is going to be blue i'm not going to change the color um, and i'm trying to see if we can restore this old color itself we are not going to um, repaint this but if we cannot restore this color then obviously that is going to be our next move this needs a new locket because it didn't come with a key um, the meter is missing so the ignition switch is there but most of it is intact i can see a lot of originality in the bike um, like these rubbers that i already spoke about then the bash plate so this is going to be a great project there is a lot of difference in terms of chassis foot pegs and all when it comes when you compare this with a shogun like you know you can see these kind of foot pegs on, are only specific to shaolins they never came in a shogun so the mounting points in the chassis are slightly different then obviously um, the engine is different the crank case is different so there is a lot of similarities in these bikes but you know there is a lot of difference as well so we will actually keep it true to its origins we will restore it like the way it is supposed to be restored uh, i want to know about this silencer which bike this is from because i definitely do not think this is from a shaolin because i don't remember seeing this kind of a uh, you know silencer on a shaolin um, so yeah this is going to be an interesting build we will definitely make it as good as new then you know this would be up for sale of course after posting this video a lot of guys will say you know i want this bike in the same condition no that is not going to happen i bought this bike because i do not have a project i need to work upon this bike build it and then obviously it will come for sale and most likely you know let me break the bad news right now you know i might not be able to sell it uh, uh, to any of my subscribers because um, this might get booked even before you know i finish the bike so um, you know that that is there and secondly i don't like haggling on the price and also this would be a special build in a, every way i don't want to you know make it look like something that has been just you know by putting a couple of duct tape and band-aid we restored it this will be a stock restoration it would be a beautiful restoration so the next one in the road to superbike series is definitely not going to be the restoration of this bike that is going to be a separate series in its own but what we will do is we will do a montage at the end of the series on how this bike was built what all we did to make this bike look like what it looks like right now so yeah that is the overall plan for the bike 
so probably i am planning to travel to cochin this friday so most likely i'll get all the missing parts and then we will do a wash right now i don't think it would be a good idea to wash it like this because i want to see exactly how everything looks then we will take the next decision on what needs to be done so it's a very stock bike very complete everything is there so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did like share and subscribe do share it with your friends because i don't think there is a similar video series happening in india so this is going to be pretty interesting i hope you enjoyed the video so yep yeah, see you in the next one bye bye